Well, there's absolutely no denying that catching squid these days is a really popular pastime all over the country because squid basically live in every ocean in the world. So you can find them all around our great country and anywhere else. And while catching squid on squid jigs and casting for them and all that sort of stuff has become hugely popular and for good reason. It works so well because you're covering the water and you're doing all of that. It's active and it's heaps of fun. The other thing that is so effective and it's just the easiest form of fishing ever is fishing for squid with a baited jig. And just like any form of fishing, there's plenty of times when bait will outfish lures and quite often really, really big squid love a proper fish bait. So I'm gonna show you what is one of the simplest forms of fishing that you can do. You can do this with a fishing rod or as I'm gonna use here, hand lines. It's just easy, it's cheap, it's great fun. And it's just something well worth doing. If you've got a boat, it's well worth having it's set up, you know, with a hand line or two in there so that you can be ready to go at a moment's notice to fish with a baited jig. So with this baited jig hand line, or as I said, you can use a rod, really simple system, hand line, 20 or 30 pound line. You don't need it to be light. A nice big float, just like we've got there. This is a litter float with a rattle in it, but you can use just a normal foam float. And then on my line here, I come down and you can use a, a normal float stopper if you want, or as I've got here, I've just got basically one of those red whiting beads that we use or the bead that you use off the back of a Tassie Devil. And as all I've done is I've looped the line through it twice. Okay, so I've gone through and then back through and that just locks on the line like that. The bonus to this is that I can actually adjust the depth of it. Right now I'm in sort of five meters of water. So I wanna get my bait down about three meters, maybe four meters, you want it close to the bottom because that's where the squid are living. So I can quite easily, you know, adjust the depth of this so that it's going to be at the right depth that's going to be at about sort of one two it's about one two three i'll make this a little bit longer all right so if i just pull that line through there just like that all right that's going to be about another meter of line there we've got the bead locked on the line this is really just good simple fun okay it enables you to fish multiple rods multiple hand lines do whatever you want okay and the other thing i do is once i've got this out then i can cast my jig around so i'm actually you know maximizing my options so quite often i'll even be casting a jig i'll have a normal squid jig drifting and then i'll have a baited jig out as well and just like any form of fishing day to day it will vary okay to the end of my line i've got a snap swivel here big clip on it because what we're going to do is now bait this up so we use a squid spike just like this all right and that is going to take the bait all right so quite simply i shove those back in there shut that my bait here is a silver whiting okay you can use tommy ruff you can use pilchards you can use whatever you want most people will get the spike stick it through the fish's mouth like that and run him up like that stick it out sort of as far back as you can towards his tail there and quite simply like that when the squid comes up and grabs it he gets hooked on those prongs just like that when there's no tide that's a great way to do it if you're fishing in an area with a bit of tide and you're anchored up or something like that the other way you can rig your bait is quite simply like this and what i'll often do is stick this in the back here feed that up through the bait like that and we're going to stick it out his mouth okay then i'll stick those spikes or one of those spikes just in through the meat of the whiting what that does pulling it forward it keeps all the gill closed and all the fins down so it will actually sit a little bit deeper in the current and as the squid comes up and grab it they always like to come and grab this part of the bait because that's where if they bite through there they sever the fish's spine okay and that's why when you get your squid jig you'll see all those bite marks up there on the back of it because that's the vital part that's the bit that does damage if they bite it that bait's going to die so when the squid comes up and grabs it, when he pulls back, he gets hooked up there near the top of the head. And that's the hard part of the squid's head. And that's where you want to hook him. So for now, I'll just throw this on as it is. All right, we'll clip this on. Just a nice big snap. It's nice and easy. We're going to clip that straight in there. Shut the snap. You'll see there, I've got a little dropper in the line. That's so that if I need to get it down in a bit of tide, I can just add a little bomb sinker for weight just to get it down. And then from there, what we're gonna do 
is lower this over the side. Okay, that's gonna sink down. And we're just gonna drift and cover some ground. And while we're covering some ground, I'm gonna be casting the squid jig. Best thing about this, once that baits out, I'll shorten this up a little bit. Once that baits out, it's pretty cool fun. You actually sit there and you see the float get pulled under, just like any form of float fishing. Kids love it. I know my girls love it when we go squid fishing and doing this sort of stuff. And there's always a bit of a battle as to who's gonna pull the squid on the hand line. All right, get that out there. And then you can just leave this on the floor or do as I usually do. Shut that, that. It's out of the way, in its spot. And that can just sit on the bait board like that. When you get a squid, if you're not watching, that hand line will spin. If you're watching, you'll see the float go under. Such a fun way to fish. And that float just went under. And the bonus to using the big float is that's what actually hooks the squid. This guy's actually having a bit of a go now, taking a bit of line. And it's actually a really, really good way to learn the feel of fishing because it's so direct. You basically use your arm, I suppose, like your fishing rod. When the fish or the squid pulls, you just got to go with it. Let a bit of line slip through your fingers. Although anyone who knows me will know how absolutely useless I am with a hand line. I tend to get them all around my feet, around my neck. But anyway, this is good fun. You can see that silver whiting's just slid up the line. Yeah, that's a fair lump of calamari. Alrighty. Now, I'll probably make another go here if I don't get him. Straight up, there we go. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that one. That is a nice big squid. Look at that. You can see that spike there. And that's what I was saying. So he would have come up to grab the head of the whiting and the spike gets him lower down where these tentacles are at their thickest or if you get them in this part of the head, that is the thickest and hardest part of the squid. Very happy with that. I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs>